Hi guys, I'm Lauren Tubbs, and this is Bogey, a 9 month old 70 pound Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. He jumps, bites, bolts out the door, jumps on the furniture, pulls on the leash, and doesn't come uncalled. He's almost no impulse control and loses it when new people come to the door. And it's my job to turn him into a well behaved dog in just under two weeks. Hi guys, welcome back to Comeback Canines Dog Training. This is Bogey's first actual training session with me. And I'm just going to take you guys along so you guys can see how it goes. So right now we're just working on the heel as you can see. He's doing good. Actually he's doing pretty amazing for his first session. The overall goal though is to keep him closer to me. And as you can see right now his heel he kind of goes out to the side. At least his focus is good. But right now he is focusing on the treat and I want him to focus on me or his owners. Not really the treat but of course we'll get to that later. And so right now, we are just going to be doing this. You guys can't hear very well, but I'm saying, come here, Bogey. Yes, good job, Kate. Right over here. I'm not saying heel because he does not know what that word means yet. just impressive how fast he learns and you know I had a few I didn't have too high of hopes that first day that I met him but now I think he'll learn very quickly you guys are gonna see a lot of improvement in the next 10 episodes you can see he got distracted and pulls me over right there but I call him back and he comes running bogey he may look small and thin but he's very strong As you can see, he gets distracted again, so I have to call him again. Right here, I asked him to sit, and he does not like the feel of the snow on his butt. And so, as you can see, he does everything but sit. Ignores me, eats the snow, play bows, barks at me, anything to not sit. So we'll definitely be working on that in the future, but it wasn't a too huge of concern this session. This session, I was really just trying to get him to walk nicely on the leash better, and to come when called better. As you can see right here, he gets very distracted by the snow and he doesn't really want to come when called. As you can see, I kind of just like try to get more excited and I kind of have to pull a little on the leash. As you can see, he very soon comes running. Here in just a second, he shows a little bit of fear and I don't know why. I didn't notice it until I'm looking over the footage now. So that was kind of interesting, but I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out on that. Come. Okay, come. 
switching him to a longer leash for recall practice, and he's shown a little bit of fear of it being connected to his collar, so I'm just desensitizing him to him right now. This is a retractable leash. I hate these kind of leashes, but my 50 foot leash is currently under snow and ice to the ground, so I had to use this one. As you can see, he looks at it a little skeptically. He's like, um, what? But he quickly warms up, and now I can do longer recalls. Okay, right here, I accidentally unlocked the leash, and so it zoomed in, but it was oh, tangled around his paws, so I kind of scared him, but as you can see, oh, after oh. a couple of treats yes. and some reassurance, he's completely fine and back to normal. Alrighty guys, we've come to the end of this bogey episode. Thank you so much for joining me this Friday. And if you all enjoyed, I hope you would consider turning on bell notifications, subscribing, and liking or disliking this video. The way it helps me see what you guys like. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much and goodbye.